Hello, I'm Dr. Paul Beckham from All Seasons Full Body Chiropractic Center here in Fargo, North Dakota. Today we're here to talk to you about what to do if you're in an auto accident. First thing you need to kind of do when you're in an auto accident is just be aware of the situation and what's all going on. You know, obviously if your car is on fire or if you're you know, your car's getting submerged into water or something like that, get yourself to safety first. Get to the point where you know, you're not going to be in danger of dying because of what's going on. Uh, second of all, uh, if you're in by yourself, kind of evaluate yourself to determine what kind of injuries you might have there. If there's bleeding, you know, try and get that you know, covered up. You might need to use a shirt or some kind of cloth that you have there. You know, worst of all, or if you don't have anything, just use your hand to uh, compress the area to make sure you're not uh, bleeding too much there. Um, if you have somebody else with you, obviously you don't have anything wrong with yourself, check them out. Uh, get them you know, evaluated just as you'd evaluate yourself. Uh, help them or have them help you if you're bleeding. Obviously, uh, then you're gonna have to, I guess if you're in a situation where uh, your car's still on the road and you can get it off the road, try and get it off to the side of the road uh, if at all possible there so that you're out of the traffic and, and not gonna get hit by somebody else again. Uh, wait for the authorities. Uh, they're gonna be coming. I mean, uh, if you haven't called them, obviously call 911 so that they can uh, be on their way to kind of show up and help you uh, be able to sort out the situation there. If you're injured, you know, the EMTs will be coming as well. Inform them of any of the injuries that you might have going on uh, so that they can help just evaluate you and see if they need to take you to the hospital. If they do need to take you to the hospital, you know, the hospital are going to check you out. Obviously, any kind of major bleeding issues, if there's internal bleeding, fractures, any kind of major medical trauma that you're going to need, maybe some kind of surgical attention or something like that. Uh, but that's really what they're there for. It just kind of helps stabilize you uh, to make sure that you're not going to die. Um, but after that, you know, come into our office here or seek your chiropractor out so they can evaluate you and determine if there's any other soft tissue damages that might have gone on. Some of the worst auto accidents actually happen at five to eight miles an hour. Uh, you might even see it coming, or you might not see it coming. But the problem is, is that you end up just having soft tissue damage. You don't end up getting fractures. You don't end up getting you know, major trauma or something like that. Uh, the evaluations we have in the office here are meant to help screen out you know, what's working, what isn't working. We use some functional movement screens uh, to see if you're moving properly or not, if there's pain there or not, uh, that's what we're here to help with. And you know, once we kind of evaluate you, determine what's all going on, uh, we'll let you know what it's going to take to finally feel good. Uh, the big problem that most people have, even if they've been to the hospital, is they might say that, hey, I actually feel fine. Uh, the problem is your body's really good at releasing natural painkillers uh, to basically numb the pain and get you out of the situation so that you know when you are injured, just like if you got maybe attacked by a saber-toothed tiger in the past, you can run out of the way, get out of the way, hide, and uh, get past the situation. You might have got bit, you might have gotten scratched, whatever. Uh, your body's really good at basically getting yourself to safety. Problem is, all those pain relievers wear off within a few days, and sometimes they can last up to a week to 10 days. I have a lot of patients that'll show up a week to 10 days later, but the sooner you can get in, the better there. After that, uh, you know, hopefully you can kind of get yourself evaluated to find out what it needs to get treated to get back to feeling good again. Uh, another big thing to kind of watch for is, you know, going back and think about what happened in the accident. I'm not saying it was your, your, your fault, it might have been somebody else's fault, but just think back and go, hey, what could I have I done different? Do I need to wear my seatbelt? Uh, do I need to make sure that I'm, you know, not talking or texting on my cell phone? Um, some situations are just going to be, you know, nothing that you can really do about, do anything about because it was another person's fault. Uh, maybe it was road conditions. Just be aware of things that you can kind of prevent accidents from happening again in the future. So I hope that information helps. And if you need our help, give us a call, 701-356-0016. Uh, We're here to help you get back to finally feeling good.